But let's take you through the highlights, the heat and the Pacers. Heat trying to avoid dropping into a 3-1 hole. How about, it was even chippy during the pregame, Chris. This is Juwan Howard having a discussion with Lance Stevenson. You remember Stevenson giving that choke gesture towards LeBron during that game three. And then that duo just completely took over in the third quarter. LeBron going right at Hibbert, scoring, drawing the foul. And then how about this one? Wade to Struggle. LeBron and the throwdown. Incredible struggle in the first hit, but both players helped each other out with the assist. Helped each other get going. Here LeBron, Dwayne Wade falls down. LeBron throws it back to him. And D. Wade buries an incredible three-point shot. It was really two against everyone else at that point. In the third quarter, LeBron and Dwayne Wade had 28 points. The rest of their team had just two, Chris. In the fourth quarter, heat up three. Joel Anthony, the miss. LeBron, the put-back dunk. And then the Pacers going on the fast break. LeBron, the closeout block there. Do it on both ends of the court, not just scoring and assisting but also playing the defense, his signature play, running down the open court free layup and blocking it to the glass. Now, yeah, with less than five minutes to go in this one, uh, the Heat would be a Dwayne Wade, a complete turnaround from that performance we saw on Thursday where he scored just five points. The Heat win this one, 101-93. Look at the numbers for James and Wade. They combined for 70 points. We just mentioned that Wade five-point performance. He rebounds with 30 points. Danny Granger led the Pacers with 20. Afterwards, Heather Cox caught up with the guys that made this victory happen. Dwayne, eight points in the first half, 22 in the second. What allowed you to come alive in the second half? Oh, my teammates. Um, you know, everyone believed in me so much. I was struggling a little bit. But, um, you know, and I've been doubted before. I'll be doubted again. So my teammates stayed with me, gave me the confidence. Coach ran a lot of plays to me to get my offensive game going. So I'm glad I was able to contribute tonight. I know at this point in the season, nobody is 100%. But if you had to put a number on where your health is, what would it be? Uh, my health is on finishing this series. Thanks, Dwayne. LeBron, congratulations on the win. Describe how your mentality changed as you came into this game four. It must win for us. Uh, you know, we're playing against a tough physical team. You know, we wanted to get the split. You know, we had a terrible performance in game four. I mean, in game three. So, want to redeem ourselves. We played some good ball. You had two days to think about that loss. Describe the type of pressure you felt coming in. You know, it's the playoffs. I mean, um, if you, don't, if you don't feel some type of pressure or you don't feel anxiety or feel excitement about the postseason, then uh, something is, is wrong inside you. So, uh, you know, as a leader of this team, I just try to make plays to help our team win, and we're, we're happy we're able to get it. There was a stretch during this game where you and Dwayne Wade combined for 38 consecutive points for the Heat. How were you personally able to help Dwayne get on track? Uh, I look for him. You know, uh, you know, the best thing for a scorer to get is a dunk or a layup. And in the first half, I was able to give him a back door right over here, and he got a dunk. And, uh, you know, you just want to see the ball go in when you're struggling, and I was happy I was able to assist him on that. In your mind, how does the complexion of this series change now? Well, I mean, it's still going to be a dog fight. Uh, you know, it's a three-game series now. Uh, and like I said, we didn't play well in game three, but, uh, you know, we, we redeemed ourselves in game four. So we head back to South Beach and, uh, you know, continue, you know, to play at the level that we did tonight.